When I was 17 years old, I was a consultant for the Pentagon and was working at a place in Stamford, Connecticut called Hike, H-U-Y-C-K Corporation. And the man who was in charge of Hike Corporation was William O. Davis. And he was former director in charge of the Office of Scientific Research at the Pentagon. And so William O. Davis was in charge of this Pentagon think tank. And there at this think tank was Dr. Henri Coanda, H-E-N-R-I-C-O-A-N-D-A. And he discovered what is known in aerodynamics and fluid dynamics as the Coanda effect. So he's 78 years old, I'm 17 years old, and we go to his, uh, I guess it was uh, by then maybe a 79th birthday party. That was on a weekend, and on Monday, he called me into his office at the lab, and he said, Patrick, you remind me of myself when I was your age. And he said, and I've been doing research on the fountain of youth and the ability to, to live long without aging, longevity. And he said, the fountain of youth really is based on a real thing. It's not some kind of, of uh, legend, but it's based on a real thing. That behind every legend is some reality. And he said, I have been researching water and looking for the fountain of youth for 60 years and I know the answer and I'm going to give you all my research because he said someday you will discover the secret of Hunza water because he had been to Hunza land at the turn of the century when you had to, to hike across jungles and deserts and climb mountain peaks and go back into jungles again. It took three months to hike to Hunza land to get to this place north of Pakistan, which the movie um, uh, Lost Horizons was based on. And so he went to this place and he discovered that these people were healthy and that they, uh, they had a well in the middle of town that had clear water, but the Hunza people wouldn't drink it. They drank the water coming from the glaciers. And and other people thought that water was dirty because it was full of minerals and uh, tourists preferred the water from the well in the middle of Hunza land. But the Mir, the king of Hunza, and, uh, and his people all drank the water from the glacier. And he said, I can tell you what the characteristics of that water are, but I can't tell you how to make it. But he said, I'm going to give you all the characteristics of the best water on earth. And he said, someday you will discover the secret of Hansa water and you will create water that will benefit everyone on earth. When we're born, our bodies are 90% water as babies. And as we grow older, our brains are still 90% water. The rest of the body averages about 70% water. As we get older, we tend to become dehydrated because our cells don't absorb the water we drink. It just goes around the cells and out the kidneys, but the cells, you can drink a huge amount of water, ordinary water, and your cells remain dehydrated. In other words, they're all shriveled up even though, even though you're drinking lots of water. And as we get older, we lose our sense of thirst. So we tend, tend to lose the, uh, our ability to know that our cells are thirsty. And this can happen quite young in life. By the time you're 30, most people don't even know uh, if their bodies need water or not. And, one of the ways that you can tell if, if you're dehydrated is uh, headaches. Um, uh, the sense of thirst is no longer applies because most people can be severely dehydrated and not even have a sense of thirst anymore. 
The other thing is that there are people who can be bloated with water. That is, you know, their faces are all puffy, their bodies are all puffy, and uh, yet their cells are dehydrated. And so when we're talking about hydration of the cells, you have to look. Uh, there are devices for measuring their, their impedance meters that measure the uh, percentage of fat, percentage of protein, uh, the amount of water in the cells versus the external water around the cells. And we've used those instruments and in some of the papers we published, we talk about them and how these instruments can actually measure cellular hydration. Crystal energy increases the flow of nutrients across cell membranes, both water soluble and lipid or fat soluble nutrients across the cell membranes two and a half times faster than ordinary water and it also accelerates the removal of toxins from the body two and a half times faster now that may not sound like much but if you take a river that's flowing depending on the speed of the river there's well uh, geological formulas for calculating how much silt and how much that river can hold depending on the rate of flow. Now, if you double the rate of flow of the water, it can hold 64 times as much silt and other particles as it did. Just double the rate 64 times. If you double that again, it's 64 times 64. And that's why, you know, when you have a, a rainstorm and the creek rises and suddenly giant boulders are going down the creek, that's because of the power of water. Now, if you go back to the cell, if you increase the rate of flow of water across the cell membranes two times, you've increased the amount of nutrients it can transfer 64 times. And so, that's the secret of crystal energy. And uh, mega hydrate doesn't do that because it doesn't change the water. That's why we recommend that you, that you put crystal energy in everything you drink and that you then take mega hydrate for the negative hydrogen ion. So crystal energy technically is not meant to be an antioxidant. It gives you the perfect water, the best water that you can drink to increase the rate of flow of nutrients across some membranes and also the rate of flow of toxins out of the cells for elimination from the body. Mm -hmm.